Okay, so in this video, we will prove the sum difference rule of differentiation in the case of a sum, and I leave the case of a difference to you as an example, as it is a copy-paste of that for a sum, except you change the plus for a minus. So, we start with the problem at hand. How do we find the derivative of f of x plus g of x? And again, we go back to our definition of the derivative, which is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the change in the function, therefore the function at x plus delta x, which is f of x plus delta x, plus g of x plus delta x, then minus the function at x, but here since we subtract over the entire function, both f and g are negated, so minus f of x, minus g of x, and of course all over delta x. And now all we have to do is pair up f of x plus delta x with f of x, and g of x plus delta x over uh, with g of x. So in the first case we will get f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x, and then plus the remaining two terms, g of x plus delta x minus g of x over delta x. And we can now write this much more concisely as f of x plus delta x minus f of x is simply the change in the function f versus the change in x plus, well, same for g of x plus delta x minus g of x is the change in the function g, and again over delta x. And as delta x approaches 0, delta f over delta x approaches the derivative of the function at the point x, and again as delta x approaches 0, delta g over delta x approaches the slope, the derivative of the function g, at again the point x. So in the limit, our final answer is simply f prime of x plus g prime of x. So as we claimed, the derivative of f plus g is the derivative of f plus the derivative of g. And you can easily see that if we replace the plus with a minus, then the result will simply be f prime minus g prime. And this completes the proof of the sum difference rule of differentiation.